Hello West Fargo, let's talk registration for the 2015-2016 school year. Our objective is very simple. We hope that by the end of registration process that all students will be able to register online. So let's get moving. What's new this upcoming school year? Well, we've got some great opportunities in the language arts department, one of which is the speech class that's available. It'll be a half credit class offered for grades 10 through 12. In addition to that, is also another half credit half year class for grades 10 through 12 which will be um, focused on creative writing if drama and theater arts is your um, interest we also have a drama literature course that would be available as an elective which is a half credit in the science department we'll be going AP physics and there are two options for AP physics the one is the AP physics algebra based um, and the second level which is AP physics C uh, mechanics, electricity, and magnetism. It's important to note that if you are, let's say, a sophomore and, and you're planning on taking physics your sophomore year, um, you can take the AP Physics 1 in place of regular physics. Um, that is, sets you up for a really nice prerequisite to continue down the physics path of taking AP Physics C your junior and senior year, both of which are one credit full year courses. We'll be offering dual credit chemistry this year for grades 11 through 12. AP Calculus BC, that is the next level, um, basically AP Calculus 2, uh, if you want to continue your rigor in the math area. We will have dual credit computer programming, Visual Basic, um, offered for grades 10 through 12. This will be a half credit, um, half year program class. Uh, some of Aviation Technology 1 was new this past year. Um, and it was super popular so uh, we've now taken it to the next level we will have aviation technology 2 uh, offered for grades 11 and 12 again one credit full year course offered down at Cheyenne a lot of students are really interested in going down the diesel tech route and we've got a really cool opportunity um, to partner with companies like RDO and uh, Butler Machinery and Titan General Equipment um, so if you if this is of interest to you, um, this class will be offered for a full year, grades 10 through 12, down at the Cheyenne High School. Botany, Horticulture, Landscaping Design um, will be offered fall semester only, and it, this is going to be a hybrid course, something new this year. Um, half credit, there will be online, there will be some field trips, coursework, uh, labs. Um, so if you're interested in that, that will be offered for grades 10 through 12, and I invite you to check out all descriptions of what's new in the program of studies. AP and dual credit classes. We are proud to say that we are a high school, West Fargo High School has the most AP dual credit courses offered, and that, that is a huge credit to not just the school as a whole, but really to the teaching staff and the work that they've gone into um, providing this opportunity for students. These are just some of the uh, AP courses offered, AP Bio, AP Calc 1 and 2, AB, BC, Chemistry, French 4. Continuing on, um, all pretty similar classes, all of which will be in the program of studies. And then we've got the dual credit courses offered um, in collaboration with NDSCS. Um, this, like AP, dual credit courses are college level. Um, where AP courses, you will um, you take the course which preps you to take a test at the end, um, depending on your scores, depending on if you get college credit. Here, you will pay actually for credits with dual credit. Um, and next year, it'll roughly be about $45 to $50 a credit with a $35 one-time registration fee. Um, extra paperwork is required, so if you are signing up for one of these classes, expect to do that. Um, most of which will be online, which is, is going to be nice, and we've heard good feedback about that. Here is just a sampling of some of the dual credit courses offered. Um, all classes except the anatomy and physiology can be taken for regular or for dual credit. Again, all of which will be uh, college level, more rigorous courses. Uh, Building Trades, Rec Engines 1 and 2 uh, have been offered as dual credit in the past. We are still unsure whether that will be happening this upcoming year, but note that it is a class with some added rigor. So if you are interested in doing those career paths, highly recommend 
um, taking those classes. Throughout your registration process, again, take note of your graduation checklist. You'll need 23 credits to graduate. Again, in certain areas, four credits in English, half credit in math, or health, three in math, two in PE, three in science, three and a half in social studies, and seven credits in electives. Most students typically will graduate with more than 23, but this is the bare minimum to uh, graduate from West Fargo High School. Some special considerations that um, take into place the North Dakota Academic and Career Tech Ed Scholarships. Um, there are certain requirements for those, so if you are interested in um, um, receiving those, if you are planning on going to a North Dakota college in the future, please contact your counselor um, about details on that. Don't assume that you'll get summer PE. It is a highly re uh, requested course in the summer and space is limited. If you took bio your freshman year and will need to still recover your physical science requirement, note that you can take a full year of chemistry and a full year of physics to take care of that physical science requirement. Summer reading will be for honors English and AP English 3, so if you are going down that route, expect some work in the summer. And choose classes and alternatives carefully. And, and note that if you are traveling to another um, school. So if you're at West Fargo and traveling to Cheyenne for a class, note that you will not have a study hall. That travel time takes place of that. STEM. If you are interested in um, going down the STEM pathway, please um, check in with your counselor or the website for more details, but uh, there are certain course requirements and that involvement in extracurricular clubs and activities is also part of that requirement. Um, and come senior year, you will be um, taking the capstone, capstone course. So again, for more details, check the website or see your counselor. The process is happening like this. Freshmen are registering on February 3rd, sophomores on February 4th, juniors on February 5th, and the window of registration will be open until February 10th. So we'll meet you in the computer lab next week. Uh, but you will have up until the 10th to go in and modify however you want. Um, and note that if you don't register, we will pick for you um, based on your course history and that in May, a class, left, a class list, a, a draft of the classes you've registered for will be mailed home. So the process is simple. You're going to review your transcript, your course history, your grad checklist with your parents. Uh, and look at the program of studies and that will all be online it's it's via the the website um, get recommendations talk to your teachers uh, ask questions in classes about what you're thinking about doing talk to your counselors um, plenty of resources to dabble into um, to make sure that you are going to be taking the right courses so how do we do it it's very simple You'll log into PowerSchool. There will be a button that says registration. It will take you to a screen that looks just like this or similar to this because it won't say Cheyenne. It'll say West Fargo High School. Um, and you'll just go down the list and where the pencil icon is right here, you will click on that. So English 1S, English first semester, will take you to a screen that looks like this. And it should, your English class that you will need should pop up. You'll click on that button and you'll be good to go. When it comes to electives, you might notice that a teacher has recommended certain classes for you. You're not required to take these classes. However, your teachers know you best, so they're spending some time and looking and saying, hey, you know what, Zool might do really well in Avid, so hey, Mr. Holder is going to recommend me for it. Um, again, continue to chat with your teachers, chat with your counselors about um, these recommendations. Prerequisites, you might find that you need to take certain classes to take another class. Um, if your prerequisites have not been met but you think they have, um, again, touch base with your, your counselor to make sure that we can get you registered for the right class. Looking at your school day next year, um, you'll have an option of going no period one, so you'll attend periods two through eight or you'll click no period eight attends one through seven. If you are planning on taking the bus, you will need to select this one, the no period one, because um, there is no busing for periods one. And also note that if you have eighth off because you went to one through seven, um, you probably won't, 
it may not happen where you have seven and eight off or we get asked all the time can I have one and two off the answer is no to that as well um, it may happen but note that your schedule might be switched um, multiple times before you actually have the main copy English is simple you'll just 10th English 2 11th English 3 12th English 4 and you'll choose whether it's regular English AP honors or <coughs> math you'll choose the appropriate next course based on career pathway you need three credits to graduate science appropriate next course based on career pathway um, all of which all of this is in the program of studies again online on the website social studies pretty easy choose one PE course summer school is limited again not guaranteed a spot so everyone should register for a PE course during registration alternates you will this is important you will need to choose four of them when you're all done um, and so for instance concert band arts 205 and arts 206 that would be two alternates um, art 2 is just one alternate you will need to choose um, four of them Again, counselors and principals and staff will be available to help you when registering next week. Um, these And these alternates are important because they will be, if your first choices can't be filled, these will take place of that. Questions? If there are, please, again, seek out your principal, teachers, counselors, and we can help you out. And again, our hope is that all students register online for the next school year and all is good.